Hello beautiful angels, today's topic is Conceived and Birth Spiritually, Lesson 6, 7, 2. Conceived and Birthed Spiritually. The objective of this topic is to be able to show all the evidence there is in the word about why today we can, without any doubt, say, affirm, declare, that Melchizedek and also the Archangel Michael are our parents, the ones who conceived us spiritually. That is very, very important concept for us to know. And for that today, we are going to see that subject and we are going to bring the evidence of what the word says regarding this subject. For that effect, let's go to the book of Job in chapter 38 from verses 1 through 7. And verse 21, and it says as follows. Then Melchizedek Michael answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this who darkens counsel by words without knowledge? Now prepare yourself like a man. I will question you and you shall answer me. Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? Tell me if you have understanding. Who determined its measurements? Surely you know. Or who stretched the line upon it? To what were its foundations fastened? Or who laid its cornerstone when the morning stars sang together? And all the sons of God shouted for joy? You know it. Because you were born then. And because the number of your days is great meaning that those questions that God asked him, he is asking Job when Job was still a spirit. Job had not taken flesh yet. It says that all the sons of God shouted for joy. It says they were already created, but the earth had not been founded yet. Now let's go to Isaiah chapter 46, verses 3 through 4. Listen to me, O house of Jacob and all the remnant of the house of Israel, who have been brought by me from birth, who have been carried from the womb, even to your old age, I am he, and even to gray hairs, I will carry you. I have made, I will bear, even I will carry and will deliver you. So let's look like in the case of what dad is telling Job, that his spirit had already been born. Now Isaiah comes and tells us, that there is a birth and there is a womb. Melchizedek takes that spirit and it is taken to, it says, it's taken to another place. Now, what is the other place? Well, we are spirits who have been birthed spiritually, taken from a womb like we had previously seen, and we are taken to a body. Why? Because when it talks about old age, about gray hairs, even to your old age, even to gray hairs, which it mentions there, well, we immediately associate and understand that that is a human being. It's a person because it has gray hairs, it ages, etc., etc. So then look at this. We are put into a body, but our spirit, remember, where is it taken from? From a womb, a spiritual womb. Let's go to the very famous verse we know, Hebrews 214, there is some tremendous light in that verse. As the children have partaken of flesh and blood, meaning they were already placed in that vessel, then 
That child was a child before being placed in flesh. But why is he a son? Because he was conceived and birthed. And from where was he taken? From what womb? Well, from a spiritual mother. And conceived by whom? By a spiritual father. Let's keep observing. Pay attention. Now let's look at that principle of what is seen was taken from what was not visible. Let's see it in Genesis chapter 1 in verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In his own image, in the image of God, he created him. It says male and female, he created them. Meaning God looked at himself. He saw his image, meaning he used himself as a model. And then that model, he projected it unto realization. He materialized it. But when he materialized it, it didn't end up being one. It ended up being two. Why? Because the image is two. The image of God is two. Melchizedek and Michael. Now, let's go to the wise master builder. The wise master builder also talks to us about these things and gives us much light in the matter. For this, let's go to the first letter of the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians in chapter 15. As was the man of dust, so also are those who are made of dust. And as is the heavenly man, so also are those who are heavenly. And as we have borne, pay attention to this, and as have borne the image of the man of dust, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly man, meaning that our spirit, our spirit, was taken from an image what happens is that in the case of our spirit just like it has been said listen well it was conceived and birth for that reason when in his dispensation the edifier appeared in that moment even though he came speaking things that were completely different to the ones we had heard and where did we hear it? Well, back then, before the foundation of the world, when we were spirits, when we had that more direct and closer relationship of parents and children without this veil, the same as it is today, when our mother appears. Why is Archangel Michael a reason for us so much joy in our lives? What she produces in us, she produces a sureness, a peacefulness. Now, in John chapter 1, let's go there. John chapter 1, verse 12 and 13, it says, But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. Notice the closing is coming here to end on a high note spoken by God himself in that veil, who were conceived, not of blood, listen carefully, the children of God, when it is talking about the children of God, and you can see the connotation that they are not born of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, there it is saying it is making a reference to the spirit, because we're children of God spiritually. Now, in verse 12, to receive them is to accept them, believe in their name. Wow, how interesting, because when we think back, it was our mother, the Archangel Michael, who brought the name of our father to us. And when our mother told us, well, your father is called Melchizedek, she was reminding us the name of our father. And the fact that we accepted it was simply because, of course, our spirit remembered. Oh, of course, dad, our spirit remembered. Of course, dad is called Melchizedek and mom is the Archangel Michael. Of course, of course, because for that reason, this light has come to us, this enlightenment of understanding of Melchizedek, of Michael, of all of this spiritual event. Now, we were children. Why? Because we lived, participated, we followed by the way of what is the event of being conceived by our father Melchizedek and being birthed by our mother, the Archangel Michael. The super race of Melchizedek Michael, our God, give thanks because he teaches us that we are spirits that were spiritually conceived and birthed. We were taken from a womb and carried to a body. We have a mother and we have a father. 
He conceived my spirit and she gave birth to my spirit. We are children of Melchizedek Michael. It is the best day of Melchizedek. It is the best day. Stay of God of my King. I am a brave soul.